Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. Hello. We're looking at Almost, a short film on a breakup. Ankush Bahuguna and Shibani Betty. This is from Ankush Bahuguna's YouTube channel. We have permission to do this reaction. And uh, who better to do a reaction on relationship issues than Achara, who's had, like, a relationship. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. So... This is it. You haven't slept well now. I'm sorry, I... I don't know what to say. No, it's okay. I mean, you don't have to say anything. You're doing the right thing. Are you sure? No, but you are. I am. Yeah. <laughs> That's the right thing. Ek to, we can't even meet, na? Like. Ah, yeah, but abhi kaise milenge? I mean, I, I don't want to have this conversation from across the screen. Yeah, but how will we meet again? I don't know, I just think that this is easier maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Are you sad? I'm okay, I guess. I'm sad, but you know, I, I don't know. I'm also tired, I'm sleepy. And I'm also just, I think I'm just fed up, you know. Soja. How can you be so detached? What do you want me to say? Oh my God. This is, this is a very, that's a very realistic response. Yeah. I don't know. We are breaking up. It's a drama ticket. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what I would say. Shut up. Are you sure you're going to be okay? I, I don't know how to answer that. I don't know. I'm going to be so busy for a while. So maybe I won't get time to think about it. What are you thinking? You're going to Sri Lanka. Yes, man. Last year, I didn't have to take it last year. I said it. Wow. It's eight years, huh? Oh, God. Seven. Seven years. We'll be eight in September. I mean... It was out there. Yeah, wow. I know. Eight years. Damn. You know, I can't believe that uh, his body actually ho gaya. I think I knew. You did? Actually, pata nahi. I mean, jab bhi kuch ho jata hai, to aisi lagta hai ki haan hai, to pata thai hi hone baad hai. So, are you gonna block me or something? No, maybe on Instagram. I mean, I don't know. Will you let me know if you're not doing well? I'll be fine, yeah. I mean, I've honestly thought about it for more than a month now. So, you know. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying that if you wanna talk, I'm right here. I know. Uh, so you want to tell your mom, I mean... Ankush, Ankush. Huh? Hmm? 
are you sure we are doing the right thing oh my god you do you think we should give it another try do you want to try i have i did with everything i know i know you have it's not much much it's fine <laughs> yeah Shall then I go to sleep? Ah, two minutes. Rook, jam, kush. Damn, I just the band's right there. Wait with me for two more minutes. <sighs> This guy's way too nice. Acting's oh, acting, whether you're doing off. it in your basement or you're doing it in a theater or you're doing it on film, it's acting is acting. That's what this short film is demonstrating. There's a bunch of shorts that have come out on YouTube lately that have been shot in this way. But filter I, filter copies that one of the big examples of that. Yeah, but what I like about this is it's it's something that is instantly recognizable and it throws you right in the middle of it. It's not telling you like a real backstory or anything. We don't know anything about why the breakup is happening or like what led them to this, but you understand the relationship right away. It's it's a very amicable breakup, but it's heartbreaking at the same time. You know, like it really got me. I got a little mad. I got a little mad because it felt real. It felt so real. Uh, I think that's why I got mad. I, yeah. I think I got upset because this dude is well. I mean, the way this is being laid out, it's fiction first off. But the way it's being laid out is this dude is really nice, and yeah. he's handling it like a champ. He is. And yeah. she's asking for more. She's asking for two minutes at the end. I don't know how I would react in this instance, in this particular situation. But a girl's breaking up with me. I think I'm trying to bail from the conversation, or I'm trying to save the relationship. It's one of two actions because I'm very binary like that. Yeah. Like, okay, it's over. I'm out, or I'm gonna try to make this continue because I love her. Now, obviously, he's giving more of his time at the end because he loves her. And there is a, it does leave you with a sense of hope that maybe these two can work it out or something like that. Because she even asked, you know, are do we you, doing the right are, thing? Are we doing the right thing? That served to frustrate me, because like he's handling it nice. He's not yelling. He's not getting overly excited. He's like, okay, cool. Like I understand. Like, and she goes, yeah, I thought about this for a month. And he goes, okay, so sounds good. And then she goes, wait, like why aren't you? Why are you acting so detached? He's like, what do you want? Do you want me to be dramatic? And she's like, well, no. Do, are we, and she goes, are we doing the right thing? He's like. Yeah. But you just said you thought about this for a month, and th that frustrates me because that all feels real. It, yeah, it feels so real. Like this conversation feels so real, and the way they shot it as well. Like when you think about the limitations of shooting something right now, they've done such a great job because the way they shot it with it being like dark and all, so all you see are their faces, and it's very close up. There's no room for lying. You know well, what I mean? True. Like the, the the camera's picking up everything, and so I feel all the emotions that they're putting forward in the performance right. because it's like you have to be real when the camera's that close to your face. There's a specific relationship I'm thinking of where it was Morgan, the one one of the few names I've actually said on this <laughs> channel, because. We would get into an altercation, not an alter. Well, I guess it is an altercation. It is a conflict. We get into an, an argument, argument of some kind. Yeah. And what would happen is I would almost go monotone in a way. I would level out and go, okay, here's my issue, and I would talk about it in a very diplomatic manner, like I was handing a, a political dialogue. She would ask me, why, why don't you have any emotion when we're arguing? I go, do you want me to have emotion when we're arguing, or would you like me to talk this through with you in a calm manner like this? Because there was a time where I let go and I yelled and she got scared and left. I'm like, what? You you didn't like the other one. 
So what do you want from me? <sighs> what do you want? And that's the thing that, that, that I want to yell at this lady, like, what do you want? Like, did you, you said you want to break up, you've been thinking about it for a month, but now you're unsure. It's like, okay, his move was the right move. He's like, you know, in my mind, this guy's wanted to break up also, but she just did him a solid. That's the backstory I'm feeling. <laughs> He's like, don't overthink it. We're cool. You made the right move. I'm out. Like, I guess. On, I mean, I'm just, I'm like, obviously that's not the story. I'm just making that up. I'm just saying like, he was so nice to her up to the end. I'm like, I can't understand why she wants out, but I'm not supposed to. The point is that she wants out. Yeah. Like, you're not supposed to know the backstory. You're just supposed to know this little small moment. Yeah, in time. And, it, and it feels very, very real. And if you've ever gone through a breakup, you can relate to that because I think a lot of the time you wonder as well, you know, it's like, am I making the right move? Am I gonna regret this in the future? All of those thoughts are going through your head. And I think sometimes, sometimes you can be very sure about what you wanna do. And sometimes you can be extremely indecisive. And sometimes, you know, you just want, the, maybe you're like, should we try and work on it? And then, and then he, puts the question back onto her, like, do you want to try? And she's all like, uh, you know, it's, it's just weird. It's awkward and it's never easy. And it's one of those things that maybe the best thing to do is do what he's doing and just be like, okay, it's a bandaid. It's going to hurt either way, whether you pull it off slowly or whether you just rip it off. So may as well just try and remain detached and rip it off. Although I expect that once he hangs up the phone, it was, I mean, it was actually a beautiful moment in this when he covered his face and he comes back up and you see that little tear in his eye and that was like the one moment where he was really get letting go because he was holding back the whole time. He was holding yeah. back the whole time and then you just imagine he hangs up the phone and he's probably like, <laughs> you know? or happy. Or that. Yeah. Or happy. I mean, breakups, even if you want out, breakups aren't easy. So breakups don't feel good. No. Nope. You know, even like, even when I was in instances where I wanted out, like, I wanted out. It was still hard to get out. It was still like, how do you do this? How do you do this? Morgan in particular was like, never wanted, she would not let me break up with her. That bitch. <laughs> I was like, God damn, I'm trying to let go. And I'm trying to do it in a calm and collected manner and you won't let me. I'm trying to be a gentleman. <laughs> let me be a gentleman. I'm like, damn it, lady. I was so frustrating. Every time I tried to break up with her, she's like, you're not breaking up with me. Oh. I was like, what? She's like, you can't get, you're not getting rid of me. I'm, I'm literally trying to break up with you right now. Every lady. time, every time. She's like, stop trying to break up with me. You're not gonna break up with me. I'm like, what I, the th hell? This is me trying to walk away. <laughs> oh no, you know, guys don't get to break up with women. They have to run. Women get to break up with men. True. Men have to run, like I did, by car. I had to run, <laughs> okay? This is the most ideal version of a breakup. I have, I have not ever experienced this kind of a breakup. It's always been sort of like, it sort of fizzled out or it was dramatic, like, End of the world dramatic. Those are the two. Maybe you need to try this one. It doesn't work. It doesn't work unless you let, unless you like, you have to surreptitiously make the girl break up with you. Then you're out and it's clean. Oh, okay. You know? That's how you do it. I read in a magazine in Maxim years ago where it was like, <gasps> You're taking dating advice from Maxim? I am not taking dating advice from Maxim. I didn't buy the magazine. I was a kid at the store and I picked it up. It looked interesting. <gasps> okay. So I read this article and it was saying like 10 steps to getting your girlfriend to break up with you. I'm like, oh my God, that's genius. <laughs> like, because it is difficult. It is profoundly hard to get out sometimes. And like, it's easier to get them to end it for you. But some women know what you're trying to do. And they're like, I'm not playing your game. We're yeah. sticking this shit out. We're sticking this out. You're mine. And like, there are some women who are like, who want to hold on until they're done with you. Then until, until they want to just get rid of you. It's just like, this. there you go, right there. That's what she did. Yeah, no, you know? she, she didn't. Why did she break up with, after eight years? Like she couldn't figure it out? She thought about well, it for a, a month. Hold a on. She thought about it for a month and didn't communicate that with him. She could have told him at day one, I've been thinking about this so they can have a dialogue. But she wasn't sure about it. Even up to the last moment, she wasn't sure about it. That's not fair. Just all ladies out there who are watching, that's not fair. If you're thinking about it, communicate that to your partner. Maybe they can turn that shit around. Turn around. Or mm -hmm. right on. No. Turn it around. You know what I'm saying? No? That song. Total Eclipse of the Heart. I don't know, there's a song, Turn Around, I forgot. Turn around, bright eyes, every now and then Copyright I Copyright claim, apart. let's stop, okay, so there you yep. go. So, communication is key. That's what this was missing. She said for a month, right there. She communicated with she him. She communicated, it's over. What she could have done is on day one said, hey, 
I'm having issues here. But she didn't know what was going on. She was trying to figure it out for a whole month. She thought about it for a month. Okay, maybe like after a little bit, maybe she should have been like, I'm thinking. But she was maybe scared that he would then go, okay, let's just break up then. And she wasn't ready to do that, which maybe is not fair on her part to like, she was ready and then all of a sudden he's like, okay, well, you just sprung this on me, but you've been thinking about that for a month? Dude, that's not fair. That's what I would have said. I was surprised he was really nice about it. As soon as she said, I want two more minutes, I'd have said, okay, click. <laughs> <laughs> There's your two minutes, bitch. What? No. I'm just joking. Hey, these are jokes. I'm here all week. These are just jokes. <laughs> I'm just saying he was too nice towards the end. See, here's the thing. If you're mature enough to handle the breakup this way and you want her back, that's your best shot at getting her back. The two minutes. You, everything, like you just give in. I mean, I don't know, it depends. Like some women want you to be a dick, it's weird. But in this particular instance, it seemed to me, by him doing things the way he did, he was increasing the odds that they could get back together. Because if you threw a, tant a tantrum of some kind, then it was just not gonna happen. He knows her, he's been he's been with her for eight years, he knows what she needs, right? right? There are some people, men or woman, man or woman, who where if you're not a bitch, if you're not a dick, then they're not gonna respect you. It's weird. Anyone who's been through relationships knows what I'm talking about. So in this particular instance, he was a nice dude. It seemed like that was the best way out and increased the odds that maybe he could get back together with her should either of them want that. Yeah, like sometimes you just, you know, you just want to be free. I just don't get some people. Like I remember I was working in casting years ago. This is getting on to way too, way too long. So I was working in casting, this is the last story I'll tell. I was working in casting and the casting director told me he was having a divorce party. I'm like, a what? He's like, yeah, we're, we're getting a divorce. We're having a divorce party. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. No, <laughs> divorces should be violent. They should be no, ag full of aggro. Be they, sh they should be They should be super aggro, super no. aggressive. Su just just like la la launching vitriol at each other. No. It should be just like, ah, and taking everything they can from each other up to the very end. <laughs> Saw this car in half. I'm taking half of everything. <laughs> it just, it should be as dramatic as possible. No, it should not. Don't listen to Jabby. I'm just joking. But I don't think you should be throwing divorce parties. <laughs> okay, that's taking it too far. I mean, an amicable, an amicable divorce amicable. is the best case scenario. Yes. Okay, why throw a divorce party? That's just silly. I think there should be a divorce fight, a divorce knockout, KO, gloves, ding ding, see who wins. Because it should be like, you should be fighting for your love. You know, it doesn't just fizzle out, you gotta fight, bing. You're with Sometimes me. it fizzles out, then you fight, and then you're like, there's no point. I don't think any of my relationships ever fizzled out. It was just very dramatic in, in its ending it every exploded. single time. It always exploded. It's amazing. <laughs> it's always exploded. In a, fireworks. And fireworks. Yeah. And then it burned the house down. Every time. Oh, God. And then I lived to tell about it. <laughs> You'll be all right, too, everybody. Okay. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Listen to her, don't listen to me. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. I'm Jabby Koi, this is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.